Hi guys! Welcome to our video tutorial in Mathematics 9. We are now in weeks 6, 7, and 8 of your modules. So at this time, we will learn more about oblique triangles and how to apply the laws of sines and cosines in solving problems involving oblique triangles. So, please get ready, sit back, relax, and learn. So let us define first what is an oblique triangle. So oblique triangle is a triangle which does not contain any right angle. So triangle ni siya nga walay right angle. So dili pwede tawgon ang right triangle og, og, og oblique triangle. So only those triangles without right angle. So unsa man ang Makonsider na to nga oblique triangles. So, ang makonsider na to nga oblique triangles are acute triangles and obtuse triangles. Now, do you still remember what are these acute triangles? Okay? Acute triangles. This is a triangle, or these are triangles whose angles are less than 90 degrees. So, ang tanan niyang angle, ang three niya ka-angles, mo measure o less than 90 degrees. Maon na siya ang acute triangle. Okay, I'll show you one. This is an example of acute triangle. No? Kaya, ang iyahang tulo ka-angles measures less than 90 degrees. Another oblique triangle is obtuse triangle. Okay? This is not angle. Sorry. This is triangle. Okay. Obtuse triangle. A triangle in which one of the angle is more than 90 degrees. So, ang obtuse triangle, triangle na siya nga dunay usa ka obtuse nga angle. When we say obtuse angle, ni measure siya og more than 90 degrees. So, kani siya more than 90 degrees na siya. Kaya ang 90 degrees, ana man to siya, right angle man to siya. So, mobila na gani siya, more than 90 degrees, that triangle is considered as obtuse triangle and that is one of the oblique triangles. Okay. At this time, since our triangles are oblique, dili na siya right angle, so in solving the parts of these oblique triangles, we will be using now the law of sines and law of cosines. So, unsa mani ang law of sines so, and law of cosines. So, we will discuss this one by one. And we have to remember, kanus agamiton ang law of sine, kanus agamiton ang law of Cosines. So, the law of sines is easy to follow and very useful in solving oblique triangles when you know the following information. So, magamit na to ang law of sines if the given are the two angles and one side. So, it's a SAA case and ASA case. So, side angle angle or angle side angle. Angle. So, kung given gani ang duha ka angles o gusa sa ihang side sa triangle, then we are going to use the law of sine. Second, if the two sides and one angle opposite of these sides is known, or that we have here the side side angle case. So, that's the time we are going to use the law of sine. Now, law of sine in any triangle ABC that is equal to sin A over A kani siyang dako nga A here this represents the angle then ang small letter opposite sa dako nga letter sa capital letter mo na siya ang side so ang big letters these are the angles and ang small letters that represents the side so sin A over side B, a uh, side A rather is equal to sine B over B is equal to sine C over side C. So that is the law of sine. So easy na kay na siya 
gamiton. So, we will have example later. What about the law of cosine? For the law of cosines, we have here, we can apply this law of cosines if the two sides and one of its included angle are known. So, duha ka sides, then usaka included angle. When we say included angle, napatungan, napatungan. For example, we have here, we have this triangle, triangle A, B, C. So, kung na ay value si A, na ay value si B, asa man di ang included angle? Kani siya, maon yung included angle, meaning the angle between side A and side B. Okay? Or, we can use the law of cosine if three sides are known. So, kung na ay value si A, na ay value si B, ug na pa yung value si C. We can apply the law of cosines. Now, if we're going to find for side A, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times cosine A. And, to solve for your side B, we can have B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC times cosine B. And to solve for C, you have their A squared plus B squared minus 2AB times cosine C. So, let's have an example for better understanding. So, let's have example number 1. Solve for X and Y. As you can see, we have here triangles. Now, remember that the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, review sa ta. So, in letter A, if this is 40 degrees and this is 35 degrees, what is the measure of your angle X here? That is 100 this is equal to 105 degrees. How did you get that? So, i-add ni mo 40 plus 35, that is 75. 180 man ni ang tulo. So, 180, 180 minus sa ni mo og 75. So, that will result to 105 degrees. So, very easy, no? What about letter B? So, this is 80 and this is 45. So, pila man na 125. I-minus ni 180. So, your x here is, okay, 55 degrees. Okay. What about letter C? We have here 60. What this uh, symbol indicate? This means that they are equilateral. And remember, equilateral triangles, meaning to say equilateral, they have the same sides. Pariha o gitas on ang lens sa ihang sides. Equilateral triangles are also equiangular. When we say equiangular, pariha o measure ang iyahang angle. So, if this is 60, pila si X. X is also 60 degrees. So, pila si Y. Your Y is also 60 degrees. So, kung i-add na ni mong tulo, ka 60, that is 180 degrees. What about letter D? If this is 30 and this is 40, pilay value ni X. X is equal to 110. Okay, very good. Lastly, you have there uh, triangle. Kanisiya triangle E. So, 135 degrees and this is 20. So, pila man ang duha? 155. I minus ni 180. So, you have there, kani si X is equivalent siya to 25 degrees. Okay? So, I hope na recall kung pila ang sum sa measure sa angle sa triangles. Now, let's have example number 2. Example number two, find the measures of the other parts of triangle ABC. Now, as you can see in the triangle, you have here angle A measures 42, angle C 70 degrees, and given side A measures 6. So, that we will be guided, let us list the, the measure of each part of the triangle. Para dita maglibog. So, angle A... Angle A, it measures 42 degrees. Angle B, angle B, wala pa. So, we have to solve for angle B. And your angle C, 
is 70 degrees. Then for the sides, side A measures 6, side B is unknown, and side C is also unknown. So therefore, we're going to solve for side uh, for angle B and side B and C. Now let us analyze what are the given parts. We have two angles and one side. So asa man ang ato ang gamiton, law of sine or law of cosine. Okay, so we will be using the law of sines because given ang duha ka angles og ang isa sa iyang side. So we have there the um, side angle angle case. Okay, now in solving for B, angle B dali ra ang angle B. Okay, to solve for B to solve for angle B kabalo man tang ang usa ka triangle is 180 degrees so imo ra na siyang i plus no so uh, measure of angle A plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees 180 so 40 man ni siya this is 42 and 70 degrees so would be equal to 180 so pila man na 42 o 70 so that is 100 112 degrees then plus measure of angle B then I minus na to sa 180 so you have your 180 minus 112 that is equal to 68 degrees. So, ang measure sa angle B is 68 degrees. So, this is 68 degrees. So, na-solve na 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 to ang angle B. Now, what about in finding the side, the measure of side B and side C? So, on say una na tong i-solve. Okay, let us solve for side C. So, since ang given kanimang duha ka angle, 42 o 70, then we're going to solve for side C. So, ang atong gamiton is sine. We have here sine A. Angle A over sa side niya nga A. Kaya maumay na i-given during nga side. Is equal to sine sine C over side C. So, nga nung kani atong gigamit, nga nung angle A, kay ang given nga side, kay side A man ang naa. So, kana siya may atong gamiton. Then, substitute. So, you have here sine 42 over A is 6 is equal to sine 70 degrees over C. Then you cross multiply. So you have there um, C times sine 42. So you have C. Yeah, sine 42 is equal to 6 sine 70 degrees. Okay. Nasha degrees. Then since we are looking for the value of C, so we will divide both sides by I divide na to ang both side by sine 42. Okay. Sine 42. So, makancel na siya. So, ang mahabilin si C na lang. So, you're going to use a calculator. You manipulate that. Aron ma-find, ma-simplify na to. So, you press 6 sine 70. 6 sine 70. Divided by... How much is that? Sine 42 degrees. The answer is 8.43. So you have there 8.43. So this is the measure of side C. 8.43. Okay? Now what about in finding for side B? 
Okay, shall we use another sheet of paper? Okay, to solve for side B, so ako lang kikapi dari ang triangle given ganina. So, nanatay value ni angle B, which is 68 degrees, and your side C measures 8.43 uh, units. Now, at this time, we are going to solve for the value of side B. So, nanamantay value ni angle B. So, we will be using, okay, to solve for, to solve for B, for side B, we're going to use sine B over side B. That is equal to, so, magpili lang taas sa tong gamiton, ang sine A ba or ang sine C. So, shall we use sine A lang kay gamay-gamay? sine A over side A. Okay, dili decimal point ang A. Then, substitute sine B. So, you have here sine 68 degrees over side B, which is unknown. And sine A, which is sine 42 degrees over A, which is 6. Then, you cross multiply. So, we will cross multiply. So, pwede ka niya itong unahon para si B ari siya dere. So, B times sine 42 degrees is equal to 6 times sine 68 degrees. Okay. So, what are we going to do next is to divide both sides of the equation by divide both sides of the equation by sine 42 degrees. Kana po siya. Sine 42 degrees. Uh -huh. So, this is equal sign. Equal na siya. So, this will be cancelled. Understood. Nga, wa na siya. So, B na lang ang nahabilin. So, B is equal to So, manipulate this one using your calculator. So, you press 6 then sine 68 so, you press 6, niya, sine 68, divided by sine 42, sine 42 degrees, that is equal to 8.31. So, your B is 8.31. So, kanisha 8.31, then asya. Okay, so... We already uh, solved for the missing parts. Na solve na nato ang angle B, which is 68. Ang side B, which is 8.31. Then ang side C, which is 8.47. By applying the law of signs. Okay? I hope na ra. Example number three. Find the measures of the other parts of triangle A, B, C. Now, in this triangle A, B, C, so the given is only the measure of angle B, which is 63.39 degrees, and the measure of side A, which is 8, and side C, which is 13.2. So, therefore, we have, to we have to solve for the measure of angle A, angle C, and the measure of side B. So, kung atong isuwat, angle A is unknown. Angle B is 63.39 degrees. Then, angle C is also unknown. For the side, so we have side A is 8. Side B is unknown. And side C is 13.22. So, we are going to analyze the given is only one angle and the given another and the other two angles are given. As you can see, money siya angle, uh, side, side, then ang angle nga given kay an included angle. So, asa nga law ang atong i-apply? Law of sine or law of cosine? Asa man siya ni satisfy? Okay, so we are going to use the law of cosine. Okay, we're going to use the law of cosine. Very good. Now, first, shall we solve for... Shall we solve for the value of C? Okay, nanamantay 
side A o side B a side side C so ang atong isolve kay ang side okay Sorry, so we are going to solve for side B. Now, in solving for side B, sa law of cosine, we have here B square is equal to A square plus C square minus 2AC times cosine kay angle B man ang naadiri. So, a side B man dito. So, angle B na siya. So, next for us to do is to substitute the value. So, your A is 8. So, that is 8 square plus C which is 13.22 square na siya minus 2 times 8 times 13.22 times cosine 63.39. So, what na siya. Okay, itong substitute Then, simplify. 8 times 8 or 8 square is 64 plus 13.22 times 13.22 that is 174.77 minus i times ning tulo derecho 2 times 8 times 13.22 that is 211.52 times the value of cosine 63.39 that is 0 0.4479 Okay. Then, before we can add and subtract, times mani siyang duha. So, ato sali simplify. So, copy 64 plus 174.77 minus, i-multiply ng duha, 211.52 times 0.4479. That will be 94.74. Okay, so i plus 64, 64 plus 174.77 minus 94.74, that will result to 144.03. So that is your B squared. Now this is not yet our final answer because our B here na paman siya square sa ibabaw. So ato siyang tangtangon. So we're going to square. Okay, para makancel na siya. Hmm. So, your B is equal to square root of, para ma-extract na yung square root diha, square root of 144.03, that is 12.001. Or, kaya yun kay ko, if we're going to round this off to the nearest whole number, your B is equal to 12. So, okay ra siya si, 12. So, therefore, B is equal to 12. Okay? By applying the law of cosine. Okay? Okay, next, we're going to solve for angle A. Okay, to solve for angle A, To solve for angle A, we are going to use this formula. A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2BC times cosine A. Okay. Then substitute the values of each side. So, ang A na to is 8. So, this is 8 square is equal to B. That is 12 square plus our C, 13.22 square minus 2 times B. Bilang B, 12 times C which is 13.22 times cosine times cosine a. Wala man takabalo. Pilay value ni A. Kaya makamaya itong pangitaon. So, simplify. This is 64. 
Then, this is 144. 13 point pila to ganina. This is 174 point. Uh, 6, 6, 8, 8. Minus. Uh, I-multiply na to 2 times 12 times 13.22. That is 347.28. Times cosine A. Tapos taas gid siya. Okay, then, atong isimplify. So, we have here 64. So, i-add ning doha. 144 plus 174. 0.6688. That would be 318.6688. Minus. So, 300. 17 317.28 times cosine A okay times cosine A okay 317.28 ni siya ha 317.28 na sayo po suwat kanina na yung 47 so ang sunod na tong buhaton is to kani siya atong ibalhin diri so, mahimo ni siyang positive 317.28 kay times pa man ni silang duha. Di man ni siya pwede masimplify pa. Equals, kani siyang 318.6688. Ibalhin si 64. So, minusan na to og 64. Okay? So, ang sunod na tong buhaton is 2 kung ato na siyang isimplify pila man ni minus ang sanin na to so that is 317.28 times cosine times cosine A is equal to so kung atong minus ang og 64 mahimo na lang na siyang 200 254.6688 so nood buha to is to divide both sides by 317.28 divide sa na siya di hao 317.28 i-follow ragid na to ang process so cancel na na siya so ang mahabilin will be cosine cosine A kung ato na siyang i-divide pila man na siyang 254.66 88 divided by 317.28 that is uh, 0 0.8027 now since ang kipangita na to is only the value of A so dapat tanggalo ni na to si cosine so ang sunod buhaton is to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of cosine and that is 1 over cosine the report multiply yan po na to 1 over cosine Aron makancel na ang cos. So, ang mahabilin, si A na lang. Okay, si A na lang. Now, again, ang pagmanipulate using your calculator, since wala mo'y makita diha nga 1 over cos, ang 1 over cos na to, that is equivalent to cosine to the negative 1. So, Walay makita sa calculator nga 1 over cosine kung dili that is equivalent to cosine to the negative 1. So ang pagsimplify ani niya, i-press og una ang cosine a shift to simplify this one. Pag manipulate ana, i-press ang shift. Humani shift, you press cosine to the negative 1 and then press point 80 27 mm. then equal sign the result will be 36.61 so therefore the measure of angle A is 36.61 degrees that is by applying the law of cosine so we already found the value of angle A and the side B, so at this time, ang kuwang diha, ang measure na lang sa angle C. Aron na na 
nanay measure ang tanang part sa triangle. So, since na naman tay angle A, ug angle B, so dali na lang ang pagpangita ni angle C. Since kabalo man ta, that the measure of the sum, that the sum of the measure of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, you have there, measure of angle A plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So, atong isubstitute, ang angle A is 36.61 degrees plus a measure ni angle B which is 63, ay sorry. Aha, so ato lang ning ikuan. Measure ni angle B is 63.39 Di man siya ma-erase kay band paper ako ang gigamit ba. Then degrees plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So, kung i-plus ni na to, si 36.61 o C, ilay measure aning kuan? 6 ni angle B, which is 63.39. So, kung atong i-plus, 36.61 plus 63.39 equals 100. So, ni-measure siya o 100. So, 100 degrees plus measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So, ibalhin na ito si 100 diha. So, ang measure ni angle C is equal to 180 minus 100. So, therefore, ang measure ni angle C Measure of angle C is equal to 80 degrees. So, measure of angle C is 80 degrees. So, makompleto na siya. So, kung i-plus din na ito ang tulong ka-angle, their sum will be 180 degrees. And your A is 8, your B is 12, and your C is 13.22. That is by applying the law of cosine. Example number four. Peter has three sticks measuring 19 centimeters, 23 centimeters, and 27 centimeters. He lays them down to form a triangle. Find the measure of the angle formed by the 90 cm and the 23 cm sides to the nearest degree. Okay. Now, the first thing for us to do is to draw a triangle. Shall we say we have this triangle? And we are going to label it as triangle A, B. Okay, shall we have triangle A, B, ano lang B? A, B, C. Okay, triangle A, B, C. Bati na kay Gagi ang pentel pen. Okay, then, you have here, uh, side A is, A, shall we say, your side A is 19, 19, that is in CM, your side B is, shall we say, this is, pila man is siya, 27, side B, side B, 23, so 19, 23, then side C is, C is 27, okay? So, A is 19, B is 23, and C is 27. Now, what we're going to do is to find the measure of the angle between 19 and 23. So, 19 and 23. So, therefore, we are going to find the measure of angle C to the nearest degree. So, whole number siya. Wala yung decimal point kaya to the nearest degree. Now, ang given kay tulog ka side. So, therefore, we are going to apply law of cosine. Now, since ang angle C man ang gipangita, so, the formula or the law of cosine that we're going to use is C square C square is equal to 
a square plus b square minus 2ab times cosine c. Okay, tas taas gini siya. Then, substitute the values. Ang C na to is 27. So, this will be 27 square is equal to, ang A is 19 square. Then, ang B is 23 square. Ito nang isod o kuan para di maglibog. Okay, 23 square times 2. A minus 2 times A which is 19 times B which is 23 then times cosine C okay then simplify 27 square or 27 times 27 that is 729 equals 19 times 19 that is 316 then 23 times 23 that is 529 then I multiply ni ang tulo 2 times 19 times 23 that is this is minus minus 874 then times cosine C okay next i-follow rin na nato ang pag-simplify pwede i-add sa ni nato o una ang doha so you have 729 is equal to Ilaman ang 361 plus 529 that is 800 890 minus 874 times cosine C okay next ang atong buhaton kani kay di pa man siya mas simplify kay times man natupad man silang the times pwede gato ni siyang ibalhin dali sa pika side so this will become 874 times cosine C is equal to pabilin ang 890 ibalhin si 729 so may mo siyang minus 729 so you have here 874 cosine C is equal to so i minus ning duha and that will result to 100, eh, 161. So, aron cosine C na lang ang mahabilin. Divide both sides by 874. The report 874. So, we can cancel that. So, ang mahabilin, the re transfer ko the re. So, ang mahabilin the re is only si cosine only cosine cosine C is equal to so pila man 161 divided by 874 that is 0 0.1842 now ang next na itong abuhaton is to eliminate cosine so aron matangtang na siya ato siyang multiply yan sa iyang ka reciprocal which is 1 over cosine deripod ato multiply yan of 1 over cosine aron makancel na siya so ang habilin si C na lang so ang pagmanipulate ani niya again walay 1 over cosine sa calculator kung dili ang makita nato diha is cosine to the negative 1 i times ni point 1842 okay so sa calculator press shift cosine so, ang mugawas diha is cosine to the negative 1 times 0 0.1842. And the result will be pila 79.39 degrees. But since ang giingon sa problem kay in degree man degree, so when we say degree, it should be in whole number. So, if we are going to round off 79.39, pila man siya. So, your C is 79 degrees. So, that's it. So, therefore, the measure of angle C is 79 degrees. That is in degree unit or in whole number. Example number 5. 
A newlywed couple wants to purchase a piece of land which is triangle in shape. If the two sides of, of the lot measures 25 meters and 30 meters and their included angle is 60 degrees, what is its area? If the lot costs 2,000 pesos per square meter, how much would it cost for the couple to buy the lot? Okay, so that we will be guided, let us illustrate first. So, magimo taog triangle. So, for example, maoni ang forma sa lot. Butang lang nato. And shall we label this? This is angle A, B, and C. So, shall we label nga ang measure sa ato ang lot is ang B na to is 25 shall we say ang B na to is 25 meters ni then ang C na to is pila ning usa 30 meters then the given angle angle A measures 60 degrees what is its area now remember that is a triangle Naka, do you still remember how to find the measure of the area of a, tri of a triangle the area of a triangle is equal to one half times base times height now at this time uh, applying the law of sine we can have it area of a triangle is equal to one half times your b one half b c and the measure of sign A or sign 60 degrees okay so A na siya A sign A then substitute one half okay para di maglibog sige ito sang ilisan okay sign A Substitute, your B is 25, your C is 30, then sine times sine, your A is 60 degrees. Okay, you multiply. Multiply, how much is that? 25 times... Pwede makancel man na to para madali, tano? Kaning tuog ang 30, so makancel na siya, so... 30 divided by 2 15 na lang na siya so 25 times 15 that is hmm, 25 times 15 that is 375 times sine 60 degrees ok sine 60 degrees then, how much is sine 60 degrees? So, atong i-multiply, pwede diretsyo na sa calculator, 375 times, pila man si sine 60 degrees. Okay, sine 60 degrees is 0.866 multiply that to 375 times 0 0.8660 is equal to 300 324.75 okay so unsa may unit ani since area man siya sa triangle so 324.75 square meters mauna ang gidakon sa area sa yuta nga paliton sa kopol okay now we answer the first question what is the area next question is how much would it cost the couple to buy the lot so since ang giingon dari sa problem is 2000 pesos per square meter so, to, to find out pila ang mabayran ani, so, simply multiply. So, ang cost sa land, that would be equal to pila na 
324.75 times 2,000 pesos. No, which is the cost of the lot per square meter. So, kung imo na siyang i-multiply, ang answer ana niya, okay, times 2,000, that is equal to 649,000, 649,500 pesos. So, ang mabayad sa managtiayon, sa yuta ng ilang paliton, is 649,500 pesos. Okay? So, I hope you learned something on how to apply and when to apply the law of sine and cosine. So, continue practicing hangtod nga ma-master, no? So, this would be the last video that I'll, I am, I'll be posting Enjoy everyone, advance a uh, happy vacation, and always remember, sa, buha, sa, sa mat, ang buhay ay aangat. God bless everyone. Thank you.